Hello everyone and welcome back to Celebrity Ring. In today's brand new video, we'll be talking about why Dixie D'Amelio deleted her Twitter account. Dixie D'Amelio did not have the best start to 2021. She stormed off the Twitter platform due to online hate. She shocked fans on January the 8th when she tweeted, Goodbye Twitter, it was fun, after which her account was no longer on the social media platform. But her timing caused fans to question whether her decision was linked to Donald Trump's suspension from Twitter. Dixie, who's known for her viral TikTok dances and being a big sis to Charlie D'Amelio, later took to Instagram to shut down these claims of fans saying that she supports Trump, although she doesn't. Dixie and her sister Charlie are no strangers to online trolling and have both come under scrutiny since they rose to fame. In December, Dixie was forced to delete a teaser for her new song, One Whole Day, after receiving a wave of criticism. Despite the haters, the sisters have a combined following of more than 150 million on TikTok, which with their posts clock upwards of 10 million likes each. And the influencers are in line for more success with their very own reality TV show due to hit screens later this year. The D'Amelio Show is an 8 part unscripted documentary series set to be of the new Keeping Up With The Kardashians and that could also be a reason why Dixie deleted her Twitter. She possibly doesn't want the reality TV show to get the same criticism that her new song did. Charlie D'Amelio, on the other hand, got locked out of Twitter. Charlie D'Amelio has revealed that she's locked out of her TikTok account as a safety measure for her account and her family's profiles. On December 14th, Charlie shared an Instagram Live video in which she explained that she currently doesn't have access to her TikTok. She said that with all the hacking that's been going on lately that she doesn't have access to her account. As Charlie explained, she is only locked out of her profile as a safety measure, but her followers still have access to her TikTok and all her videos on the social media platform. In the Instagram Live video, Charlie also addressed some of her followers' concerns and said that she hasn't been using social media to the best of her ability. This could possibly be the same reason why Dixie deleted her Twitter account as well. Going back to the main reason, online hate. Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio have quickly become household names since their rise to fame on the video sharing app. Along with the fans and millions of followers they received, both influencers have also fallen victim to internet hate as we said. Throughout their time in the spotlight, the dynamic sister duo have been slammed by internet trolls about their bodies and relationships. In an effort to stop the spread of hate online, Charlie and Dixie have made it their mission to call out haters and spread kindness on social media. That did not work out too well. Other TikTokers are suffering from this too, Addison Rae spoke about it, and several others have as well. But Charlie took a different approach to hate compared to Dixie. We all know that Dixie deleted her Twitter as a solution, but Charlie did something else. People Magazine says that Charlie is speaking out about the hate she receives in hopes that it will help others dealing with similar issues. And by calling out the hateful comments, she wants people to realize the impact their words can have. Speaking out often opens up her feelings for even more criticism, and Charlie doesn't really like that. And while it can hurt, the positive impact far outweighs the temporary gain. Dixie might do this as well in the near future, but it seems like she's already fixed with deleting Twitter and not coming back on the platform anytime soon. In conclusion, Dixie nearly deleted her Twitter account due to online hate. I do support her on this since Twitter has a lack of oversight and it's what makes it so fundamentally toxic. Anyone posting a comment or replying to a conversation risks being overwhelmed by vicious responses from a largely anonymous user base. Much of the commentary is openly racist and sometimes even misogynist such as this exchange. Therefore, her deleting Twitter was a good call. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, we really appreciate it and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment something nice, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!